Hey y'all, it's Megan here. It's been a long time since I've posted a video and today I'm out here at the nursery. It is about 9.30. I don't have any customers right now. So it was a perfect time to give y'all a nursery update. So I live in Dothan, Alabama and I'm a gardener turned nursery owner here in zone 8B. If you've been following my channel, then you are already familiar with my gardening journey. Um, so anyway, I have been meaning to put up videos. I have had the best of intentions, but it's been such a busy time trying to build the nursery. We started in about February and we just opened June the 2nd. So just ends up the days get away from me. So we've gotten in several plant shipments in the last few months. And so I'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that we have here at the nursery on 84. So let's just take a ride around the nursery and I'll show y'all what we've got. So I have two of these structures on either side of my little cottage shed in the front and a lot of blank space up here. We've got three acres and in the front, it's sort of like my walking, browsing, pretty little area. And in the back two acres, we have trees and all kinds of shrubs, flowering shrubs, evergreens, roses, drift roses mostly. It actually feels pretty nice out here right now. So we've got these wood structures that have steel cables through them that we attach all the trees to using tree collars because one huge surprise I found about owning a nursery is the number of plants that you have to turn over every day because they get knocked down by the wind. That's been like the biggest surprise to me. Okay, so we've got some little one gallon gardenias right now that John is going to pot up into threes. See what I mean? And then the problem is that when this happens, you get broken limbs. I started doing this in case you're new to the channel. I started posting videos of my projects in my garden about three years ago now, I think. And now I've opened up a nursery and it's been a journey for sure, but it's been so rewarding, so much fun. So we've got some green giant arborvita in the three gallon. We've got some Brody Juniper in the 15 gallon. So those are really pretty. Check out those blooms. Suntastic Radiance Abelia. Y'all know I love Abelia. Now starts our Azalea Row. Autumn Chiffon, Autumn Twist, Autumn Sangria, not sure, haven't put a tag on that one yet. Autumn Coral, Royalty. So we've got several, several varieties of the Encore Autumn line. And I've gotten more excited about Encore Azaleas in the last year. So this is fenced in, all the three acres is fenced in, and um, we've got some pine straw. The sprinklers are going right now, so I can't really get up super close. Lime lights, we've got the lime lights, we've got the little limes, we've got the bobos, which stay two to three feet. So that's like the dwarf version of the lime light. These structures here are called my park sun structures. This is where we keep a lot of our annuals.
cutest little globe arborvitas. So, so cute. So right now we're on the front acre. I'll kind of give y'all a, a big view of this. Okay, so when you look here where these mats start, the weed mat, that's about where the front acre stops. So when we were planting the nursery, I just wanted the front acre to kind of be like the acre where I had a lot of display tables, annuals, and staged sort of. And in the future, I plan to fill up the front area out here that's graveled with a lot of tables and things like that to showcase annuals and fun plants. This time of year, everything is struggling to just stay alive. So it's hard to have really, really great looking annuals this time of year. But so we cut back the ones that look leggy and fertilize. And if you know me, you know that I love heuchera. So I have multiple varieties of heuchera, which I think is a very, very underrated plant. It takes shade, part shade, some of it takes sun, but for the most part, these are like part shade lovers. And I love them so much because they have tons of different varieties of different color foliage. And these are, this one right here is called berry smoothie and it's so pretty. They send up little blooms that kind of remind me of a hosta but it's not anything really, I, I get it for the foliage. And I want to, I want to excite people about heuchera, if at all possible. Some impatience. These look so leggy, so about two weeks ago, we chopped them back, put some fertilizer on them, and now they are leafing back out and are looking so good. Okay, let's keep going. Azaleas, these are not encore. We have Formosa, Coral Bells, Azalea, Pink Ruffle, Red Ruffle. Uh, I'm so OCD. Okay. Sun glow and pride of mobile. And then of course, sunshine ligustrum, firepower Nandina. Okay. While I'm up here, I want to show y'all something that I just discovered. It's new to me. I mean, I'm sure I didn't just discover it, but it's new to me. I had not seen it. So we were at a nursery a couple of weeks ago and we were getting our truck loaded and finishing up. And I, walk, I was walking around and I saw these proven winter pots. So this is called a desert orchid El Nino. 
by Proven Winners, and it has the most beautiful purple pink bloom. Okay, and it gets pretty big in the landscape. So this plant ends up getting five feet to eight feet tall, four to six feet wide. It's a full sun, six plus hours a day, and it blooms summer, in the summer, uh, but it is just beautiful, and I had never seen it before, so I was like, I got to get some of these. And then I also added some of this wine and roses wajila to the truck as well. So this has a really pretty burgundy and greenish foliage and it blooms, let's see, pink. So let's look. This gets four to five feet tall. It's zones four through eight, full sun, um, spring is when it flowers. So pretty. So these were kind of new to me. I have some Sonic Bloom Wajila and some Checkmark Trilogy Wajila at the house, but I had never seen the Wine and Roses. These are Dear Dolores Hydrangeas. I need to come in and deadhead some of the brown ones, but oh my gosh, these blooms are huge. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And then they are big leaf. These are just awesome. Then I have some original Endless Summer. They're putting on blooms. And lots of juniper. So I feel like I'm kind of in heaven out here. So this this keeps me busy, but it's the best kind of busy. I feel like I get to come and enjoy what I do every day. It's such a blessing. It doesn't feel like work. And to me, that's the greatest gift. It's exciting to me to get other people excited about plants because that truly is like one of the biggest gifts that the Lord has given me in my life is the joy of gardening. And I just really want to spread that around. So this is y'all's first tour of the nursery, first real tour. So I hope y'all have enjoyed it and I hope you'll stick around because I'm hoping to be able to do many more of these. I'm in Dothan, Alabama. If you live anywhere near here, come out and see us, even if it's just to walk around and look at the plants. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a great rest of your week.